Bertrand Brooker is invited to show his abstract paintings at the Arts and Letters Club in 1927. But when they were shown, it was met with dumbfounded silence. Uh, the other members of the club, they, they really disliked these works. They couldn't understand them. There were no titles. They didn't even know that they were done by Brooker. He hadn't signed them. And Arthur Lismer and Lorne Harris had sponsored this exhibition. They were supposed to give a little talk to club members and support, but they remained in silence too. So poor Brooker left the exhibition feeling very downhearted um, with this reception, but it didn't stop him. And some people have said, well, you know, Toronto wasn't um, ready for abstraction at that point, and that it was a sort of a blind alley for artists. But that didn't stop him. He continued on and did some amazing abstract works after that. But the Arts and Letters Club show is considered to be the first exhibition of abstraction in Canada. It's not necessarily that Brooker was the first abstract artist, but the first one to actually hold a group exhibition of these works. But we know very little about the show. The, the club uh, did not allow its members to promote their work. And so a review appeared in one of the Toronto newspapers, but they didn't even name Brooker. The author of the article was anonymous. I think it was Augustus Bridal, who was the music critic for the Toronto Star, who wrote it. And there was, they also uh, perpetuated this notion that he had just become an artist, that he had just picked up a brush for the first time, and these were the works that had emerged from, from, from this genius, which is not true because we know that even back in his early days in Manitoba, he was definitely dabbling in artwork.